tired, I will carry you. If Satan is running after you, I will defend you. If temptation comes, I will show you the way to have triumph and victory. On my own side, I will never leave you. It is for you to also have a reciprocal statement and promise. As he said, he will never leave you. You say, I myself to you, I will never leave my Jesus. I will stay with him because zero at the side of one makes ten. He will be with you. This coming year will be a wonderful year. All your needs, they will supply. Look at Isaiah chapter 41. The promise he has made for you. And he says he's with you. He's not going to leave you. He will not forsake you. How can he forsake you? He died for you. He paid the price of your salvation. And he said, whosoever comes to me, I will in no wise cast out. Isaiah chapter 41. I'm reading from verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. This Jesus is with you. Almighty God is with you. He goes up, be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. I was waiting for an amen there. Jeremiah chapter 1. Jeremiah chapter 1. I'm reading from verse 19. I'm, I'm going to wait for you. This one, we need to breathe well before we read it. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 19. You know, next year is ready prepared for you to succeed. The powers that conquered you before, that's in the past, this coming year, victory after victory. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 19. They shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee. You see the partnership. You see coming to the Lord and staying with the Lord. You see that he's going to hold your hand. He's going to take you there. For I am with thee, says the Lord, to deliver thee. I am delivered, praise the Lord. I am delivered by his blood. I am delivered, you are delivered. He will never leave you. Once you come, you continue, you conquer. You come, number one. You continue, number two. Tell me number three. You are more than a conqueror. Look at this in Jeremiah. And I'm reading from chapter 15. I'm reading verse 21. I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked. 
And I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible. Anybody, they call it Mr. Terror, Mr. Terrible, Mr. Danger. God has delivered you. And this is what you have but when you have come into partnership with the Lord. That's how this coming year will be. 365 days of extraordinary miracles upon your life. Hold on to those three words. Number one, come. Number two, continue. Number three, conquer. I see conquerors here tonight. I see overcomers here tonight. You will conquer sin. You will conquer sickness. You will conquer Satan. You will conquer darkness. You will conquer poverty. You will conquer death. Death coming here. Long life. I'm talking about somebody there. Long life. Long life. Anything that will hinder your health and your strength and your power tonight, Jesus will deal with that thing. The day and the time of exploit is beginning right now for you. This coming year is going to be a prosperous year. It's going to be a happy year. It's going to be the best year you have ever lived in your life. And when I see you again, I said I will see you again. What are you there? When I see you again, the person that never laughed, you will laugh. You never smiled, you will smile. The fire burning in the family is quenched. The sickness raging in your body is healed. The powers of darkness trying to torment you, to tear you apart, I send that evil spirit away. And the food you could not eat, now I release you, go and eat. Something good is starting. Uh, you are standing up to get it already. You are even faster than I thought. I said you are faster than I thought. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. But you must take the first step. The point of entry. The point of entry. The Lord Jesus is telling you. Come, all things are now ready. Come, all things are now ready. Let's bow the eyes closed. If you want to get into this provision of Christ. This salvation of Christ. You want to start at the point of entry. You say, Jesus, I give my life to you. I'm going to be a child of God. I come. I come out of my sin. I come out of darkness. I come out of evil. I come to Jesus, my Savior. Wherever you are, raise up that hand. That hand will be a blessed hand. You're telling the Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Raise up that hand. The Lord has seen that hand. Just quietly tell him over there where you are. I come out of my sin. I come to the Savior. I come out of idolatry. I come to the true and the living God. I come out of occultism. 
I come to the pure power of Christ. I come out of evil and wickedness and crime. I come to the cross of Jesus Christ. I come away from condemnation. I come to his salvation and justification. Lord Jesus, receive me. He has received you. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for all these who have now taken the step at the point of entry. Forgive all their sins in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, the conscience of sin, the condemnation of sin, the guilt, take it away from them in Jesus' name. Give them peace in their hearts. Forgiveness and pardon in their hearts. And give them the grace to go and live in newness of life. Welcome them into your kingdom. At this point of entry, I pray, Lord, every one of them will enter in to the grace of God, to the salvation of God. I thank you because I know it's done. In Jesus' name we pray. God has answered your amen. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. God bless you. You are standing up. Let's stand up together. If you cannot stand up now after the final amen, you'll be able to stand up. Now, the Lord wants to set us free from anything that will keep us back from going into this wonderful year ahead of us. If you are blind today, it will open your blind eyes. If you are lame, you will rise up and walk. And you brought a child who is, uh, you are sorrowful because of that child, deaf and dumb, the Lord will heal that child tonight. Any attack, any affliction you have in your body tonight, Jesus has come to set you free. And after the final amen, that means it is so. And then you open your eyes, you discover the miracle. Are you ready now? You raise up one hand and if you can lay the other hand where you have the challenge, you have the problem, the sickness, your healing has come. We're ready to pray now. After the final amen, check up yourself. The healing is there. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless your name tonight. You have given us a promise that cannot fail. That whatsoever we ask in the name of Jesus shall be granted. Lord, we believe you cannot fail. You will not fail. You will touch everyone in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray every work of the devil will be destroyed. Every affliction of the enemy will be taken away. All the activities of the terrible one in their lives, I nullify them right now. Lord, I pray all those powers of darkness neutralize them in Jesus' name. Any evil power there, any evil spirit there, 
any spirit of infirmity there. Any spirit of madness there. I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Anything that is swollen in your body, whether it is an ear, or it is the bullet, it's the bullet of the evil people. I command all the swelling. Come out in Jesus' name. Tuberculosis, I command you. Come out in Jesus' name. Cancer, be healed in Jesus' name. Also, be healed in Jesus' name. Those kidneys and those livers, I command you, receive resurrection power right now. Appendicitis, immediate healing right now in Jesus' name. And all that pile, I pray the Lord touch you right now. Go in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for those who are blind. Those blind eyes, I command you, be open and begin to see in Jesus' name. Those who are deaf and dumb, I pray that your ears will be open now. Your tongue will be loose right now. Hear and speak in Jesus' name. Those who are paralyzed, one leg shorter than the other, any part of the body withered, or you're having stroke, Lord, I pray right now, let your healing power come upon them. Strength come upon them. The power to activate their bodies right now in Jesus' name. Lord, every miracle that is needed here, I send forth your power. I send forth the anointing. I manifest that authority in the name of Jesus. Set your people free in Jesus' name. Heal all the sick in Jesus' name. Turn their lives around for the better in Jesus' name. Receive your healing now. Receive your deliverance now. Receive your miracle now. You are free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. You got it. I said you got it. I said you got it. Check up yourself. Your miracle is right there with you. It is, it is done. Amen. You are listening to our pastor, Pastor W. F. Kumoye, or other anointed minister of God from our ministry. Let the words sink in your heart and they will do you good throughout your whole life. It is our belief by the grace of the Lord 